and let's try this Ooh, it's metallic looks metallic copper something and it really looks very royal right their design is very royal so you feel majestic <laughs> you feel like majesty when you're using squad hello everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Margaret and if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly do so by clicking on the subscribe button below and tapping on the notification bell so that you will be aware of new uploads so I've received package from Shopee and we have ordered Squad Cosmetics makeup products and we'll be trying it out today. I'll be trying it out today. So first, first thing we bought was the Squad You Can Face It Foundation in the shade of Light Beach. I know it's not clear but it's light beige and we found out that's that it's a bit dark for our skin tone so I'll be mixing it up with Caroline nude to make it a bit lighter right so we also have the squad contour and blush spill the tea so this blush palette um, Features four versatile shades that versatile shades that's perfect for any skin tone, mood, or event. So if you can see, it has four different shades, and my sister told me that this can be used for contour. And this as perfect blush ones. Yan siya gamit ani light yan. Highlighter. Okay, so this is also a highlighter so remember we also have a highlighter from Caroline the strobe stick so I'll be trying this today the squad cosmetics spill the tea contour and blush we also have their neutral squad eyeshadow palette and this is a combination of matte and shimmery shades of light to deep cool natural tones these shadows offer superior blendability and awesome color payoff so I'll be trying all the shades I'll be swatching them on my hand and I'll be hmm I'll try to see I'll try to see which one would be tested on my eyes today so once again this is the squad neutral squad eyeshadow palette I'll be indicating the price in the description box since I need to check the Shopee um, Shopee app again so without further ado let's go ahead and put on some makeup oh I just go lord no na puning right so we'll be using this foundation and this is their applicator it is 11 grams so this will this will expire 2022 it was manufactured 2019 so just put a small amount here just tiny amount and then mix it but if the shade is already perfect for your skin tone you don't need to mix it with BB cream but we'd love to make it lighter so I'm combining it with Caroline Nude and then mixing both up. Right. So I won't be using a brush. Instead, I'll be placing it on my face using my fingers. I actually placed moisturizer on my face so you might be wondering why it's a bit shiny. So I think you can see that it's really good in covering especially your pores and your blemishes. I have a few holes here due to the chicken box that I scratched off when I was 5 years old. And I also have a big zit on my left cheek. I don't really use foundation. 
So this is the first time that I'm using liquid foundation because I only use BB cream most of the time, especially if it's for daily makeup when I was still in the office. I'm gonna be putting some more for my neck. So if you can see, it's a bit perfect for my skin tone after combining both. It's <laughs> harsh guys. Alright, so that's the foundation. Next is the key line, of course. Once again, I'd like to thank micro microblading of Epoda Brows. But you will have something on top of that since it's a bit light. I'll be using my usual Nichido Duo Kit in the shade of Coffee and Black. So I'm still using the old, old one because the newly bought is still there. Still waiting for this to run out. Mahorot guys, mahorot. So mix brown and black. I usually need mirror. So I'm gonna use the mirror of my foundation, of my Caroline foundation. So if you can notice, I'm not really using any artificial light today. I'm using the natural light from the sun. It's not dark anyway. So that's how simple I place eyebrows guys using the nichido duo kit so we already have our brows on it's already a bit dark don't know what's happening outside so we'll now use the so what i do is foundation and then work top to bottom so brows eyeshadow blush on and then lips so i'll be swatching this squad cosmetics on my hand so um, doesn't really have the colors here at the back so we'll try this here it's a bit light and then next is this it's not that clear Hmm. So it looks different on the camera, but I think I like the one in the middle. This one. It's more of a natural tone. Now let's try the one in the middle. Shimmery shades. I feel like glitters, guys. Okay. So that's first one. Ooh, I like this one. It looks a bit rosy. I like this. And let's try this. Ooh, it's metallic. Looks metallic copper something. There. And then let's try this. First column here. So it's very light, if you can see. Ooh, I also like this one. So I love these. The ones in the center. Last one. Okay. So all of those are the swatches of the eyeshadow. So I feel glittery today. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the ones on the center. So let's go ahead and get a brush. So I don't really know which one to apply first, but I think I'll use this first. It's really pigmented, guys. Little application goes a long way. 
It looks so natural. This one. So what I discovered is I want to cover eyeshadow until this bony area here so that it would look like it's deep set create dimension okay so that's the first layer I'm gonna be applying the middle shade here doesn't really look so glittery on my eyes there you go so I would like to suggest I hope there can be a mirror placed on each palette para dili na siya lisod ba dili ka mag hold gani o mirror plus the palette so I hope you can send this to squad and suggest that they place mirrors on their palettes but I'm not sure if it will look nice because of course they want to show off their product but yeah I think it's better if there's um, a mirror here we're done with our eyeshadow it really looks so natural guys so of course the name of the palette is neutral squad eyeshadow palette so expect it to look so natural on your eyes let's go ahead and use this contour and blush i don't really use contour much i haven't tried applying them here a lot of artists use contour here in this area so I don't I I need to study first where to apply them but I'm gonna try it now so contour hope I'm doing it right it's not really that dark anyway I'm actually placing it here on the sides of my face to make it look dimensional and thinner and I hope I'm doing it right okay and we'll be using this for our nose line as well same color I don't really put on nose lines when doing my makeup. I'm just testing their products now. Right. I hope it's not too thick. <laughs> right. Okay. Next is the blush on. So I'm going to be using this smaller brush. I'm gonna be using this one here on top. I think it's both. It actually looks the same, but I think the top, the one on top is darker. Oh, I like it. It's also pigmented. So just a few dashes here and there. Actually it looks a bit dark already here. Do you notice that? I like it guys. It's not a waste of makeup. And you know me, I don't really opt for very thick makeup. I just want it to look natural. So that's going to be my blush on. Right? Just make sure you hit on the cheekbones. And now let's try the highlighter. Right? So just make sure you apply a small bit. Once again, I'm not a professional makeup artist, guys. 
but I only viewed YouTube videos on how to apply makeup so that's what that's how I learned as well so make sure not to apply too much make sure to apply as well here for your nose to appear longer and here here as well all right I don't know if I look better <laughs> with this makeup but that is the Quad Cosmetics Contour and Blush. Right, I think it got here a lot, a bit thicker, a bit thick. Right, next is the finale. It's going to be, oh, by the way, I also bought the Squad Cosmetics Bubbly. This is their multi purpose mousse cream. So it's multi-purpose, meaning you can apply it anywhere on your face, your cheeks. But I'm gonna be applying it on my lips today. Hmm. I like the shade. It's a bit dark though for daily makeup, but still looks good I can actually taste chocolate and I can also smell chocolate when using this and it really looks very royal right their design is very royal so you feel majestic <laughs> you feel like majesty when you're using squad so once again this is my daily makeup daily makeup routine using squad cosmetics products and i hope you liked my short tutorial and i know it's a bad timing but my tiny zit wants to show up because i'm almost having my period but anyway thank you so much for watching this video I hope to see you in my next vlog. Please don't forget to leave a like and also ask questions or leave comments below. And if you want to show your support to my channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and tap on the notification bell so that you will be aware of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next one. God bless you, lovies.